Hello, it's Bibi Cameron here, and today I'm going to show you how to make these little bags. You can make them using different kind of papers, like this one, this one, like this one. You can choose folding the edges like this, or just leaving the edges like that, not folding them, so you get a larger pack okay. and you can make them in different sizes it's a kind of medium size and this is a large size today I'm going to make a small one using cherry on top designer series paper you can make any of these little bags here using one single sheet of this paper stack. This sheet measures 6 by 6 and the back measures 4 by 2 and a quarter inches. This paper is absolutely stunning. It's bright colors, beautiful patterns. It's very thick and it's high quality. I love it. I'm going to use just one sheet. I like this project because it's zero waste. You're not going to waste anything. The first thing we need to do is Grab the Stampin' Up trimmer and go to one centimeter. And I need to score the paper. Move the paper to two centimeters and trim the paper. So I'm going to get this paper with that, with a scoring line in the middle going to do the same again one centimeter one centimeter there I have to pay attention that this is correctly aligned here and I score I move to two centimeters and I trim okay I got the body of my bag here and these are going to be the handles so to make the body of the bag all I have to do is fold this piece of paper in the half. I'm going to place it again in my stamping up trimmer. I'm going to go to one centimeter and a half. And I'm going to score this paper again. Score it twice and then go here and score the paper at one centimeter. You can score the paper one centimeter, you cannot score the paper, you can just leave it like that or you can go to five millimeters, but I like one centimeter. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see the scoring lines. It's kind of difficult to see them, maybe in this side you can see them. Okay, well, one and a half centimeter is for the bottom. Okay, we are going to fold this, the, mo the bottom of my bag this is the bottom of the bag just as easy as like like that that's the bottom and this folding here is just to give a little bit of extra strength when we put the handles here i'm going to go to the bottom of my bag and i'm going to make some cuts here these cuts are like one centimeter and a half deep it's just randomly, I'm not going to measure them. And then press my paper like that and I'm going to fold these little pieces of paper towards the center of the bag, just like that. These cuts here are going to help me to, because when I finish the bag, okay, I got two holes here. So it's going to help me to give the shape there to be able to paste them in the bottom. So if I put anything there, the things are not going to fall. And I'm going to use this double-sided tape here. I'm going to use it in that side, but I'm going to leave it completely flat, okay? And then I'm going to apply the tape. Ok, 
okay paste that double sided tape from here to the very top okay I'm going to remove the backing of the double sided tape just like that and I'm going to gather together these edges here I'm going to go like that move the paper a little bit the paper is not going to break so just go like that paste that corner then comb and paste the rest of the paper just like that if there is any excess of paper just trim it go to the other side do the same your guide is this this piece here so go there mm -hmm. okay so the base of the bag is done you can also apply glue to these edges here I'm not going to do that I don't find that necessary so I just held it with my hands I held the back to get shape can use also the bone I apply glue and I'm going to paste those little corners there and once the glue is dried get them like that okay you get those corners like that this tool is a circle punch and I'm going to make some holes here so I want to show you something you can make the holes a little bit together like this ones or you can make them a little bit far apart or you can make them close to each other that's completely up to you there is not a rule you can also try what works better for you okay so I have made these holes here both sides and now I'm going to make the handles okay I'm going to use that one and this one you can paste them together you, if you want you can use glue or double-sided tape to paste this together I'm not going to do that here I'm just going to break the fibers of the paper that just to give it a little bit of shape also need to punch out this you can make it one by one or put two, two together get them done at the same time so I'm going to use brass to attach the handles to the back you can also paste them with glue or with some other adhesive you have available I like I like brats because they give them this nice touch here and the bag is done the bag is finished you can embellish with flowers uh, with hearts with anything you want today I'm using my ponches uh, my favorite ponches I use them for everything I have uh, also this stamp set and I'm going to use the happy day just that stamp from it and I'm going to use a scrap of whisper white cardstock to stamp the sentiment there and with the one inch square punch I'm going to get shape to these corners mm -hmm. I'm 
just like that some into the edge of that banner just to make it look a little bit more give it a little bit more of contrast i'm going to speed the camera here to show you quickly how i made the embellishments and how i paste everything together Honestly, there is no other way to do this. You can do it in the way you like more, or using any kind of embellishments you you have. I found very nice when you add a button and some linen trim from the Stampin' Up, like this one, or like this one also, or this one. So I'm going to add that here too. And we are done. This is the back. They are ultra easy to make. With more time, um, maybe it takes more time uh, putting some embellishments, but the back itself is very, very easy. You can make it any size you want. Please watch my next video tutorial to show you how I made these ones, the big ones. Uh, it's exactly the same process, but the paper is uh, different, Mrs. is different, it's the only thing which is different, and the embellishments, the embellishments are also different. So that's everything for today. I hope you liked this video, and please visit my blog www.bbcameron.co.uk for ideas and inspiration and to order online stamping up products any day, anytime. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting.